All these works have one thing in common. They were taken by black female professional photographers, of which there are few. The exhibition opened in Warsaw and amongst the exhibitors, local photographer Denise Maxwell. I am a proud Yam Yam. <laughs> so I'm born and bred in Warsaw, went to school here. Part of her exhibit emulates a well-known Beyonce photo shoot. And like others here, she says there simply aren't enough female black photographers. There's some statistics that we saw, and those statistics said that only 5% of photographers commissioned by major magazines and newspapers are actually female. So when you look at the 5% in itself, and then even fewer of those are, are, are black female photographers, the public is literally seen only one point of view. Also exhibiting 20-year-old Naomi Williams. Her work gives an insight into the life of her grandfather, who, like many other elderly people, suffered loneliness and isolation during lockdown. I think, like, a lot of black females kind of doubt themselves because it's kind of, like, a male-led industry. But, yeah, it's nice to see, like, so many people, um, like, coming out and expressing themselves. All sorts of genres are on display, from model portraiture to recent social documentary. This exhibit is called Whitewashed. It's about the continuing and sometimes dangerous use of skin bleaching products by young black women. It's the work of Dominique Nock, a Surinamese photographer who trained in Holland. Meanwhile, 16-year-old Zakaya Moore was just four when she picked up a camera and her advice to other young black women is... Don't feel like you're stuck in a box. There's no box, there's nothing holding you back from um, doing what you want. Your dreams are limitless. So just keep going and find what you like. The exhibition has a high-profile sponsor in Nikon and its organisers, the UK Black Female Photographers, can be found on social media. Kevin Reed, BBC Midlands Today, Warsaw.